And you know that from your own experience. Think about this. How many know somebody who is extremely talented, but just never quite seems to get the results they hope for? Bill Spiegel. Oh. <laughs> now, we weren't asking for names. <laughs> how, many know, how many know somebody who is extremely successful that doesn't have to seem to have any talent whatsoever? They're all over the place as well. So talent helps. Talent is an essential part of developing, but it takes a lot more than talent. Uh, in fact, John Maxwell has actually written a book called Talent is Never Enough. And I wanted to share with you some interesting facts out of this that help kind of paint this picture. Some of the things that he found, 50% of Fortune 500 CEOs had C or C minus averages in college. Can you look it up for you now? <laughs> Over 65% of our U.S. Senators were in the bottom half of their class. Yeah, Strangely, <laughs> nobody has any trouble believing this one. <laughs> That's hot. Seventy-five percent of U.S. presidents were in the lower half of their class. Ah, oh, that explains it. <laughs> and they went to class. Over fifty percent of millionaire entrepreneurs never finished college. That's the only thing we're going to start talking about. So when we see that, we see that it takes a lot more than talent in order to accomplish things. It takes other skills as well. In fact, management expert Peter Drucker once said that there seems to be little correlation between a man's effectiveness and his intelligence, imagination, or knowledge. So we see what at the heart of it is that their leadership is what makes a difference. Everything rises and falls on leadership. 